Welcome to this segment of Under the Microscope. Thanks for being with us today. I have the great pleasure of being joined by Dr. Jill Wallen. And Dr. Wallen is the Chair of Growth and Development for the College of Dentistry. Jill, welcome. And thanks so much for being with You're us. You're welcome. Good morning. You know, I recently learned about the HRSA grant that the College of Dentistry has been awarded, and I understand that you're the primary investigator, the principal investigator of the grant, and I wonder if you'd tell our audience a little bit about what the grant is and what the significance is to our College of Dentistry. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. So our HRSA grant is a grant that goes through 2020. It's a five-year grant that allows us to expand not only school health and oral health in the schools across the state of Nebraska, but also to expand our provider network within mm -hmm. the state. And what is it going to mean to, uh, let's start off with school children across the state of Nebraska. What are they going to note that's different? And so in the second year of our grant, which will start July 1st of this year, um, we'll be bringing extra providers into the school network, particularly Omaha Public Schools. So for the first time, our pediatric dental residents, those receiving specialty care in pediatric dentistry, will be in a school system providing dental care, um, not just preventive, fluoride, screening, sealants, but mm -hmm. also some restorative care, the drilling and the filling um, within the school-based system. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a, it's a brand new initiative for us. And how would you describe the need in the schools of Nebraska, and particularly in the Omaha and uh, other areas that you'll be serving? Yeah, we know that certainly throughout the state of Nebraska there are pockets of unmet need where children are not accessing dental care in the way that we hope they would. And so particularly in our urban areas, we're showing particularly in populations in North Omaha, there's a great need for dental health, oral health education in that community. So we know about 30% of our school populations ha either have some history history of caries or actual untreated decay. So it's still a very significant number in, those, in that population. And is it a common thing for communities to partner with colleges of dentistry, uh, residency programs in pediatric dentistry, to develop these kinds of services, or is this relatively unique? This is particularly unique, and one of the other aspects that we have to our grant application is that we're utilizing telehealth. So our providers in the community, in particular school nurses, are able to beam real-time to our main base, a Children's Hospital and Medical Center, and receive real-time telehealth consults with our dental specialists there and with our residents. So, for example, if a child will be experiencing a toothache, mm -hmm. they can dial us up on the telehealth network, get a consultation same day, and very oftentimes same day appointment for that patient and that family. And how does the family get connected to this? If a child were to show up in, in one of the schools and get uh access to one of these uh, telehealth systems. So our school nurses, we've re uh, done training with extensive training with our school nurses over the last two years. And so we, they know us, they know us well now, they know our residents, which we're very proud of. They are able to recognize disease through the training that we've given them and they either call us or email us and we're connected to them 10 to 15 minutes later. Well, it sounds really efficient and it sounds like very well organized. I assume that the schools that are going to be involved with this already know that they're designated? Yes, absolutely. So we're very close through a, a collaboration that we have through Building Healthy Futures in Omaha um, that our partners in the community all know what we're able to do for our school networks and we have designated, as we said, those school nurses who are really champions of this telehealth effort. So. Well, thank you so much. You know, the, the programs like this reach out to the community and serve our children and serve the communities. They, they are great uh, educational programs for the next generation of our healthcare professionals. And I know they don't just happen. It takes the dedication of people such as yourself and the team that you work with to make this so successful. So congratulations, and thanks for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you for being with us today on this segment of Under the Microscope.